So good afternoon. I am sorry I did not make a video yesterday. Uh, I was like food poisoning. We uh, had gone out to dinner at a friend's house on Sunday night and we both woke up miserable yesterday. Um, so I was in no, no shape to do a video. Feeling 100% better today, thankfully. Uh, but uh, so the other day I did... Uh, my Mercedes collection, basically. Uh, but I um, did forget to pull out this beautiful Siku AMG SL, um, SLR. Let's take a look at this. Mercedes SLR McLaren. Excuse me, not AMG SLR. It's a Mercedes SLR McLaren from Siku. Uh, and this very special model was a gift from Chasing Diecast Cars several months ago. And is a beautiful shade of dark green. A uh, very nice model. So Siku, it's um, not true 164, I don't think. Uh, it's more of a quote-unquote three-inch car. I have the package, let's see, here. And I know that there is a different color code here. So this is light blue. Uh, there are no opening features on this, um, but if you were to look for this car online, some of the information on the packaging might be useful. Let's see if we can see a. So Siku is a German brand, very popular in Europe. Uh, I have just a few of them, thanks to very good friends. So there is that Mercedes missing from the video the other night. Uh, so just to recap, we have, you know, these Mercedes here and here and on the bottom. Oh, actually, yeah, uh, two more I forgot the other night uh, in the Mercedes video. Um, the... Um, the recent Mercedes mainline from Hot Wheels. Mercedes-Benz 500E, uh, which is an excellent model. Uh, and this majorette, uh, SL, um, SLK55? Mercedes SLK, excuse me, it doesn't give a, uh, this is in a 157 scale. And this was also a gift from Chasing Diecast Cars. Uh, a a few, few months ago, about a month or two ago, uh, Chasing Diecast Cars had sent me a huge box. And I made an unboxing video, and the video was on my phone. And then I had a problem with my phone, and the video got deleted. So I've shown some of the cars uh, in other videos, but I, I, I cannot replicate that fresh opening uh, experience for that uh, video. So that is a very huge, unfortunate thing. So we had done Mercedes. So it was a coin to us today. Uh, I'm going to go through my German car collection on which next German brand to do. So um, BMW. So uh, I've shown most of these before. This is a beautiful Welly. Uh, BMW 5 Series that I picked up off eBay uh, last year. Um, and this is very nice. And again, Welly is not true 164. It is a 3-inch car. Uh, very nice painted uh, and printed details. Headlight grill, BMW logo there. This, of course, is a left-hand drive, continental Europe. Uh... A generic five-star wheel on these, but they look very good. Um, and painted taillights and the BMW logo there on the Welly. Um, this, these three are my collection of BMW Z8s in 3-inch or 164. This is a Maisto Fresh Metal BMW Z8. And again, this is a very basic Maisto. Um, funny thing, it has the BMW logo there, but it doesn't have painted taillights. Um, and it has the same thing on the front. It has a BMW logo, 
um, and and not a lot of the uh, details on this in these very generic six spoke wheels here. But this is a um, Maisto Fresh Metals, um, and uh, I got that off of uh, eBay late last year or earlier this year I forget now um, and this is the only auto art in my collection uh, and this is very nice it has tampoed headlights you can see the printing there uh, no uh, no acrylic inserts but nicely painted turn signals the fog lights are done well BMW logo the wheels are very good the casting is very nice uh, all the lights in the rear. Uh, so this is an uh, an Auto Art 164 BMW Z8. Uh, it says Gateway Global there. I should have looked that up. I mean, I, I bought this on eBay quite a while ago before I started making videos, and that is an Auto Art. This is a Kyosho. And this is better than the Auto Art. Uh, acrylic lensed headlights. Nice chrome around the grill there. Uh, beautiful BMW logo. Light details. The wheels are the best. The side details here are the best of this size. Uh, printed taillights, but done <coughs> very nicely. <coughs> so that's the best of my three Z8s in the 164 scale. Um, Matchbox Basic uh, Mainline 2002, 69 BMW 2002, copyright 2018, 2019. This was part of a five pack, I believe. Uh, so BMW 2002, they've done a decent job of the printing there. Uh, the taillights are sort of incomplete, but they still look good. Uh, and you've got headlights and grills in the front, but not a lot of other detail. But it's still, it's not a bad little casting. Now, this is a Shuko BMW 2002. And this is a damn sight better. Let me take that little piece of plastic off the base here. That's what it screws into. So the uh, Shuko is metal body, metal base. Should be true 164. BMW 2002, made in China, Shuko. And you can see... The chrome trim around the windows, the doors, the rocker panels there. Very nicely printed uh, turn signals. The headlights there are lensed inserts. Uh, nice painted chrome grill. The bumper is all cast, is all part of the casting, but it does look so very well detailed. Now, there is no opening hood on here. Um, sort of a weak casting of a mirror there but at least it's there the uh, windshield wipers look okay uh, lens insert for the taillights nice little BMW logo in the 2002 the key all the painting there so this is a nice and these shoe goes are you know in, in my opinion reasonable so here we go now I've shown this once before this is a um, so this is a Norev, but it's a promotional through BMW dealerships. Uh, and this is a BMW M4 GTS. Uh, and this is from my friend David Johns of Twice Diecast. This is very nice. Look at this. Lens headlights. Nice license plate. Uh, BMW logo. You can see the black plastic for the grills here. Um... This carbon fiber type roof, these orange orange rims. Um, this is an actual BMW trim level. Um, nice lensed taillights there. You can see the BMW and the M badge there. That license plate, nicely done. Um, so this is a very cool model. And of course, if we're going to do BMW, we're going to open up some new BMW. Now, I have the uh, Hot Wheels uh, Deutschland Design BMW M3 E46 here, brand new in the package. But that's not actually the one we're going to open up. 
Uh, that's there because it's a new BMW. But you know if you see a box like this, it's going to be something special. So um, I, I source uh, quite a few of my uh, Kyosho models from the same seller on eBay. And it always, I should have written it down, it's something RX-7. He's a really nice fella from Japan. And so they're, they're usually used. They're almost always used. And they usually come on a base. This one uh, came in a little box, but it doesn't have a base. So it's really used, um, but still should be a beautiful model. And this is a BMW Z4. Uh, not a Z3, not a Z8, a Z4. Um, and this is the first Kyosha that I have that doesn't have the plastic plinth, the base. So let's take a look at this. Nice acrylic headlights, and they've got the two colors. I've got the clear, and they've got the orange for the turn signal LED. Uh, you Look at the little fog lights there, the grill here. Uh, there goes your BMW logo there. These wheels look very authentic. Uh, you've got a mirror cast there and there, but there is no silver or reflective paint on them. Uh, lens tail lights, and I see a hint of orange in there. The uh, third stoplight, the BMW logo, no license plates on this. So let's take a look at the base here. 164 BMW Z4, Kyosho, made in China. This is a riveted car, not a screwed. Obviously, it originally went on a base or a plinth like all my other Kyoshos, but this one, as I said, when you buy these used, um, so the paint looks good to me. I don't have the critical eye that small model collector has for paint flaws but this one looks very nice to me so I'm very happy to have this uh, new addition to my collection so uh, that should be all the BMWs I don't have a huge BMW collection but I have I actually have two larger BMWs but I'm sticking to my 164 collection with this um, so uh, my next in my my next in series of German cars is going to be Audi, uh, probably tomorrow, uh, and then hopefully I'll get to Porsche, uh, and Porsche is one that I have long overdue on. Uh, again, my friend Joran of Chasing Diecast Cars sent me a ton of Porsches, um, and. From different brands and of course I um, sort of accidentally hoarded a bunch of uh, new Hot Wheels Porsches so um, that'll be later this week what is today Tuesday so Wednesday so maybe Thursday I'll do the Porsche video uh, but today is BMW tomorrow tomorrow is Audi uh, see what we can come up with there so uh, let me know what you think like share subscribe um, with me, it's not so much quantity, it's quality. So, I mean, yes, I mean, uh, the, um, Maisto and the Matchbox are sort of kind of basic, but, uh, the Kyosho, Auto Art, uh, the Welly, the Shuko, even this Hot Wheels, um, premium. Um, my BMW collection is not huge, but they're all, in my opinion, oh, and I almost forgot, there was actually... One more BMW, a gift from, again, from my friend, drawing it, chasing diecast cars, and this is a BMW X6. So, painted taillights, generic wheels, um, heavily tinted windows, so probably no interior. No painted BMW logo on the back or side, uh, but there it is at least there on the front. And the headlights are painted, and it looks like the double kidney grills are either plastic inserts or paint. The mirrors are molded. So the X6 is a 
mid to large size SUV slash coupe sedan. Uh, BMW makes these and Mercedes makes these. Uh, me, I'm more of a traditional SUV guy or a station wagon or, you know, these are not really my cup of tea. But this is cool to have. The RMZ City, I only have uh, four or five of, all from my friend Jordan. So there's a Land Rover, there's a Porsche Panamera that we'll be seeing later in the week. And here is the X6. So uh, I hope everybody's doing well. And I will talk to everybody tomorrow. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Comments are really what I'm looking for. Although, honestly, I'll be... Uh, I have been lax in responding to comments. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching. You'll be safe. And I will talk to you soon.